What's up everyone, Dr. Dan, back here with uh, one of our trainers, Steph, over here at the gym. We're gonna go through a real simple thoracic spine extension-based exercise that can be done at your desk, in your shower, at home, in your kitchen, wherever the heck you are, to pull you out of that forward rounded position and put you back up into a little bit better posture with a stronger back, which is something that can benefit everybody, right? So this is called your hands on hips thoracic extension stretch. It helps us to begin to identify the lat muscle, the tricep muscle, and it helps us to develop some scapular depression and stretches, the bicipital tendon, the pec, and we can even add in the scalenes in the neck, all right? So if she hasn't done this before, this is her first time, we're gonna walk her through it on the video, so you guys can start to kind of position yourself and develop stronger back, longer neck, longer shoulders, all right? So it's super simple. All you've got to do, hands are gonna go like this, and we're gonna put them right on our hip bones, right? So right in our hip bones means not in our lower back, but right where your SI joint is, right where your ilium is, the back of your hip. And this is a great stretch right off the bat just to kind of stand up tall in. We work on elevating the head and spin to the right for me. Uh, the right, yep. And what we're gonna do here, Three things, press the hands gently into your hips, pinch your elbows together, and then squeeze downwards with the shoulder blades, nice and gently, okay? And you see how that feels, okay? So, what we're gonna work on with her in some future videos is working to depress the diaphragm. Can you give me a little crunch out of your belly for me? Good, but lift and tuck your head back. All right, yeah, perfect. Elbows in, shoulders down. Okay, so when I tell her, if you can watch in the camera, when I tell her elbows in, see how her shoulders hike up a little bit? Elbows in, oh, they go up. Elbows in, oh, they go up, right? So we wanna tuck elbows in and depress. And you see how that feels a lot different, correct? Elbows in and depress, hold. What do you feel? You feel like you're mid back right here. Let's turn around and face away from the camera. Hands on hips, elbow tuck in, shoulder blades downward. And we've got that nice mid-back, infraspinatus, rhomboid, lat activation. One more time, face towards me. And we're gonna press in, elbows in, lift and tuck the chin back like that. And just try to lower those shoulders gently and tuck that chin back like that, perfect, boom. Okay, that is your hands on hips, thoracic extension stretch. Hold it three times per day for about 20 seconds and just work on that movement of depressing the shoulders, lifting the head, standing up nice and tall. It's a great exercise to take us out of that forward rounded position. You probably felt a little yeah. bit of a stretch. So a lot of common um, findings with people is that bicipital tendon gets tight, the um, scapular and glenohumeral joint kind of rolls forward and we develop this big ball of tension in the front of the shoulder, which is why so many people uh, hurt their rotator cuff, Develop bicipital tendonitis, uh, thoracic outlet syndrome, which can be numbness tingling down the hand because of all the tightness up here in the muscles. A little bit of retraction, depression, elbows inward, head tucked upward. Perfect position to put yourself in throughout the day. If you're in the shower, turn some hot water on, let it hit the back of your neck and just practice standing tall and depressing downward. Cool? That is called your hands on hips thoracic extension stretch. It's really simple. We'll see you guys on future videos.